Hey guys, get level here, and today I don't really feel like editing, so today we're gonna be making a very clean, quick animated camera overlay within Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself, and I'm gonna provide the project file as a download link in the description. I will also provide some exploited versions of the camera overlay that we're about to make. So if you don't have Adobe After Effects, you'll still get the overlays. You just won't be able to modify it, I guess. Let's get into it. All right, so we're here in Adobe After Effects 2021. We're gonna create new projects. It's gonna bring us to the new project thing, if it wants to. We're gonna click on composition. We're gonna click click on new composition. We don't need to name it. Just make sure that it's 1080p, so 1920 by 1080, and it is uh, 60 FPS. When it comes to the time, basically here, you want uh, 10 seconds, okay? Click okay, good. So now you have it 1080p. It gives you an idea of what the normal uh, webcam would look like. Let's go up there, and when it comes to the shape, you can click and hold to find a shape you like. In this case, I want the rounded rectangle tool. We're gonna go ahead and click here. Nice like that. We're gonna try to align it. On the right, you should see the align tab. Just click on it and click the middle here so that aligns it and click in the middle there. Uh, now it's aligned. Uh, we don't care about colors so much, but with the same tool selected up there, we're gonna click tool creates mask. This is where you differentiate when it comes to your pen tool and all of that. If it creates a mask or a shape, click create mask, boom. And now we're gonna try to align a little mask also rounded rectangle tool don't worry too much if it basically uh shut down what we had before just try to center it as much as you can nice and at the bottom here under your layer you will find inverted so click boop it inverts it and this is pretty much what we're going to be creating today now we can go back to the move tool uh scroll with mouse scroll in order to zoom in i want to click on the side and double click this is where we're going to make sure that it is aligned at the bottom here in that little bar you can find choose grid and guide options click title title action safe so now we have a little bit of a grid now we can double click on the side of the mask and as you can see horizontally you can line this up i'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard and boom now it's lined up i'm going to bring it up a little bit okay just to make sure cool thing here is that with the frame you can tell what your camera is going to look like in your broadcasting software all right nice this is the part maybe you want to choose a color if you have a color scheme we're going to be doing a gradient okay so we're going to put two colors together and we're going to make one move and my color scheme as you can see here we have light blue and also purple even though there's no purple here let me turn on the purple okay boom now we have light blue and purple and this is my color scheme if you have a color scheme which you should have before making a camera overlay um, you just pick the two colors in this case i'm gonna go ahead and pick some sort of purple here like that maybe a little darker when it close to blue but not completely click okay so when you have the shape layer selected up top here it's gonna say fill if you don't see that you can always click down click contents click rectangle and under fill you will find the color here okay now it's time to create another layer so i'm gonna click away from this and i'm going to find my ellipse tool which is the round shape tool basically and we're gonna try to create a perfect round we don't have to create a perfect round it really won't matter but you can hold shift while you're clicking and dragging to create a perfect mask a perfect shape sorry boom a perfect uh, round and then here on fill we're gonna pick our second color for our color scheme maybe make this one pretty bright if you're looking for gradients you don't have a color scheme yet just go to google google images and type color gradient and you will find some with actual uh with the hex code for specific gradients that really that go really well together for like two color gradients all right let's go back here and uh, there's a million ways of doing this but we can click on effect go to blur and sharpen and click on you know gaussian blur for example boom gaussian blur and we're gonna put this like super high i'm talking like 500 possibly even more let's put 700 or 800 Okay, this is perfect. All right. Now, what we're going to do is actually move this round shape around. And this is going to be our animation. Remember that our time is 10 seconds. So I'm going to press P while I have this blue round selected on my keyboard. It's going to bring up the position values. All right. I'm going to put this in the corner here. You can move it however you want, but I'm going to put this in a corner here. And I'm going to click on that little time watch. This is a keyframe setter basically it creates one keyframe and now keyframes are on every time i move this within the timeline it's gonna record basically that position so i'm gonna go to 230 basically like a quarter a quarter of the time and i'm gonna put it 
here okay now i'm gonna go to five around five it doesn't matter you don't have to be precise here and i'm gonna move it here then i'm gonna go to 730 and i'm gonna move it there and then i'm gonna go to 10 and instead of moving it i'm going to copy so i'm gonna drag outside here and make sure i select that first keyframe i'm gonna control c on my keyboard and then while i'm here i'm gonna press control v if you want to move to the beginning or the end frame you can press home or end on your keyboard and now having the first frame and the last frame be the exact same frame provides us with a perfect animation i'm gonna play it so it goes from left to right it's gonna go up okay this is a 10 seconds because i want it to move slow you don't want fast animation because it can be very very distracting basically and then it goes again if you want it to kind of you know move a little smoother you can always select all of your keyframes and press f9 this is going to be a ease in ease out so it's going to be super um, smooth it's basically going to stop at every stop if you wanted to uh, you don't have to let me control z and let's not do this all right now this is not bad but it might be a little too wide because we have this little thicker part here so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition or i can just select those two things oh actually wait no uh <laughs> now we want the blue part to stay and still have the same transparency as the bottom one so what we're gonna do is duplicate that bottom one so we're gonna select it shape layer one we're gonna control d that's gonna duplicate it and call it shape layer three we're gonna bring it up there so it's gonna be on top as you can see and then on shape layer two, which is our blue layer, we're going to go under track mat and set it to alpha, alpha mat. If you don't see track mat here, you can toggle switch and modes here. OK, so if that's what you have, just toggle switches here and then under track mat, alpha mat, shape layer three and boom. And now it is only reacting with the transparency of that layer that we put up on top of it. Also, you will see that it basically turned off that layer so you don't see it but it's still abiding by its own transparency cool now we can go ahead and select everything right click and let's try to pre-compose it click pre-compose move all attributes and click ok now we have a full composition now why did i do that the reason why i did that is because i'm i don't want it to be that wide so i'm going to drag this side everything is together now i'm going to drag the sides and make something that would look more like you know your typical uh ca webcam overlay kind of like that i guess uh we can always go to composition settings and not make it full 1080p but let's do this let's make sure we unlock aspect ratio in the width we can drag it down until it looks like what we created basically again really doesn't have to be precise we can just do this that's fine. Now, how do I export this? I'm going to go to composition, go to add to render queue or just press control M under output mode. We're going to click lossless and we're going to find QuickTime under format here and then under format options, you're going to make sure that animations animation is selected animation. Boom. OK. And then under video output, put RGB alpha RGB is the pixels, the colors and alpha is the transparency. For my case, I'm going to turn off audio here. You don't have to. And I'm going to click OK. And then output two. This is where the file is going to be. We're going to put it under a folder where we can find it. Um, as you can see, I've already done this once, but I wasn't satisfied with the tutorial. So we're going to call this one uh, cam two. Boom. And we're going to click render. It's going to play the animation in front of you. And you will probably hear like a little satisfactory sound at the end, which means that your render is complete. OK, and uh, now we can actually add it to call this too. I saved my project. We can add it to a software like uh, Streamlabs OBS, for example. Let's open up Streamlabs OBS. Everything that I'm going to show is possible to make in OBS Studio. It's just that I'm using OBS Studio to record right now. So I'm going to add a new scene. Hopefully, you know how to use your own broadcasting software. Add a new source. That's going to be a media source. So same thing for OB OBS Studio. And uh, let's put a new media source. Let's call it cam overlay add source and we're going to go find it. We call it cam two and this might be a big file. For example, this one is 123 meg. So if you have like a, a computer that's not that great, you might you might struggle a little bit with it. And here this our animation is 10 seconds. So we want this to 
loop because if we don't loop it after 10 seconds it's just gonna stop and stop you see that now you, you meet <laughs> now you need to click on loop on the properties loop good you can also adjust the speed here in Streamlabs OBS not sure if you can do that in OBS studio but anyways time to add our camera we're gonna go with my webcam since I'm using my my main camera now video capture device add source new source instead click add source we're not gonna name it we're gonna pick our um, where is it Logitech C920 make sure that it's uh, custom let's put at 1080p boom all right and there we go looks horrible let's drag it under it and uh, let's place it now it's 1080p but it's not you know it's not exactly the camera overlay that we just exported so what we're gonna do here is drag the sides while holding alt on your keyboard and that will drag that will crop it basically so you drag it and it crops your camera in order to make it fit perfectly drag it down and boom now you're good do it while it's big like that don't scale it up and then I'm gonna press control on my keyboard select the camera overlay now they're both selected I'm gonna click on the folder here but you can also I think right click and then group them in a folder I believe that's how you do it in OBS studio uh, we're not gonna name the folder but you can call the camera overlay but the cool thing now is that if I select the folder I can uh, drag it down and there you go you have your own animated camera overlay you can uh, play some video games like, while having that on top of it let's put an example i'm just gonna play a clip of me just playing games let's drag that underneath it there you go so if i was playing games this is what the camera overlay would look like you can see at the bottom it's still not perfect so i'm gonna hold alt while having the cam so selected hold alt and crop it a little bit <laughs> and i cropped the wrong thing press Control z crop the camera the camera is what you want to crop you don't want to crop the the overlay boom and now it looks good all right and you can see little thing is whoa, where is it moving it's hard to follow it because i'm inverted but that's basically it all right this is how you make an animated webcam overlay in after effects super clean super simple i will provide again link in the description to download the after effects project it's after effects 2021 so if you have an older version it may not work that's not my fault also will provide some exported they will be webm so they will be small files for you guys because i will convert them i'll let you convert your own and yeah if you don't have adobe after effects so you have no way of changing of modifying it I should probably show you how to change the color um, you can download this one i'm gonna provide it and you just go to camera overlay right click on it add filters plus for a new filter go find color correction click done and then play with the hue okay until you find something that you like if you don't like the double color you can always go ahead and um, click color here and just pick whatever your color is all right boom look at that i made it red and if i want to play with the contrast so it pops a little more boom i can also play with the gamma so really make that red pop just play around with it okay you can make it any color you want really there's no excuses there but if you don't want to take the time to do all of that you can go to gumroad.com get level this is where i have a bunch of full overlay packs including animated ones they're cheap some of them most of them are actually free completely free so uh, go check him out also if you want to also you can actually earn a little bit of money by sharing those overlays from gumroad.com slash get level i will have a form in the description where you can become an affiliate and you will have your own special link just share the link and anyone who buys or donates from that link you will get a cut but that was it for today if you have any questions put them in the comment section below you can also check out my discord this is where i mostly like have everyone answering each other's questions so that way it's easier and you can get a perspective on life streaming and anything like that but in the meantime youtube will show you where uh, which video you should watch next and at the bottom you will see which video was the most recent video i don't know why i said it like that but i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video go out there make me proud get level out